I'm David Lovejoy. Good morning. I'm Rhonda. And I'm Chuckalicious, Chuck Williams. And uh, Commander McBroom with the Panhandle Auto Burglary and Theft Unit joins us this morning. Uh, their main goal is to keep your valuables, your vehicles, your property safe and sound. Uh, we can help them out with a little bit of uh, common sense and knowledge. Commander, welcome to the show this morning. Good morning. Commander, last week you guys had one heck of a good drug bust and recovery, if you will. Can you go into that a little bit for me? Uh, anything new and unusual about it, or is this just due to dogged work? This is pretty much uh, the unknown for us most of the time. Uh, we got some information on some possible stolen cars that were stolen from out of our area. We followed up on that and got enough public cause to get a search warrant. During that search warrant, we were able to uh, recover four stolen vehicles, uh, most of them from large cities. And the, unfortunately, they, are, they were high end cars and they had already been chopped and cut up and wow. pieced out. Um, one of those were, was a Hellcat, broke my heart. But uh, <laughs> oh, mm. yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm. So during the search warrant, we were able to locate a bunch of narcotics that were there as well, and also some firearms, so we were to get that stuff off the streets and out of the hands of the bad guys. How often, you know, you mentioned the firearms. How often are people stealing? I mean, is this, uh, is this is a common thing. This is where people get their firearms if they don't purchase them. They're stealing them out of cars. Is that correct? Absolutely. Uh, these firearms were not reported stolen that we're aware of. We're still following up on those leads, but uh, we do get lots of firearms stolen out of vehicles, and they are used in other crimes all the time. It just it feeds upon itself. Now, Commander, this is sort of an unusual one. Before, nine times out of ten, when a vehicle is stolen in this part of the country, it's usually jewelry red. It's people, kids, yes. or just somebody who's not, you know, stable, who decides, I, I need a ride right now. This is the first time I've heard in a while of a chop shop here in this area. Yes, right. Is this yeah. sort of a new thing that you guys are running into now? We, we do occasionally run into those uh, from the investigation that we have on, on this particular one. Uh, these people are not local. They're from, they're from the metro area and had moved in shop here and, and set up. So, Yeah, yeah so they, they figured the heat wouldn't be on them here, so they kind of moved down the road. Yeah, uh, small, small town mentality, I guess. So, yeah, they absolutely. They thought wrong. They, they found out wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> that's what you get for thinking. <laughs> Yeah, and, and and that's the thing, and it, you see more and more when these these incidents happen. Uh, it it's felons in possession of stolen property and firearms, and that's a major concern, uh, especially to people who legally own firearms. It really is really is an issue, isn't it? Yeah, shed shed the bad light on those people who do legally own firearms. Absolutely, you see the government's always after to reduce the number of violent crimes with firearms, but. It, it affects more the lawful people than it does the unlawful people, unfortunately. That's yeah. it. And I, what the solution is, I have no idea, other than be a good gun owner. That's so, it. Yeah, that's it. secure your firearms, your weapons. Now, it's starting to get a little warmer. Uh, we know we're still in winter, and we're going to get some more freezes. But but people start to, to get a little lackadaisical on, on securing their vehicles, securing their property. Yeah. Any quick tips? As we move toward daylight savings time, it'll be in about three weeks. We're going to change over uh, about securing your vehicles and securing your your high value items in your vehicle. So don't ever leave anything in your car that you value. Um, don't give the bad guys a target to break into your car. If they can't see anything in there, they're going to bypass it and hit the easier target. So don't leave anything in your vehicle. Don't leave your keys in your car and make sure you lock your car. Just take your keys out of your car and we can reduce the auto theft rate in the area by 80%. It's that simple. Wow. 80%. It's all on you. you know? Absolutely. Yeah, right. that, that's a rare occasion. In this we need world. to send out a memo. Yeah. You People know, <laughs> gonna, every month, commander's going to come here and punch you in the nose and tell them. <laughs> Somebody sooner or later, you're going to hear us, I hope. So, <clears throat> commander, great job last week on that bus. Thank you. Those guys off the, off yes. the street in our community safe. Uh, really proud of what you, the work you guys do. And like I said, we can help Appreciate out. It. We can help out by just common sense thing. No keys. Don't start your car and leave it running. Don't yeah. leave your laptop in the back seat of your car. Mm -mm. You're asking for it. And it's yeah, cute. Absolutely. absolutely. Take those firearms out of your car, please. That's it. That's it. Commander, absolutely. great job. Tell the men, men and women over there at the Panhandle Auto Burglar and Theft Unit. Thank you. And everybody yeah. in law enforcement, be careful out there. We'll see you again soon.
Thank you. Thank you all for getting the word out for us. We appreciate that greatly. Anytime, anytime. We'll take a quick break. Back with more chat right after this. 